r slash ask reddit what i know it sounds weird but just try it thing do you swear by take a shot of vodka burns a bit pick up a hunk of fresh bread and sniff deeply burn goes away you must be russian welsh although i can see the confusion was told this trick by a russian student back in the uk more than 30 years ago we then got very drunk i'm russian i learned this trick from my uncles i asked why they do it and apparently it's a joke that we russians are such severe alcoholics that instead of buying a full round of groceries we spend most of our money on vodka and what little bit is left over gets spent on something cheap to fill the stomach bread or at least that's what my mom and aunt claim at night after you pull in and park somewhere turn the car off and just sit for a few minutes so peaceful and calm and it's great to just cut the engine and lose the noise and the lights for a little while my sister regularly sits at home in the car for a while after arriving home from work it didn't pay off the one time my mother was moving huge wardrobes around in the garage managed to overbalance and slowly fall so that she was wedged into the gap between two wardrobes and the floor she was stuck and waiting for my sister to arrive home and my sister had been sitting in her car in the driveway for 45 minutes did your mom enjoy the silence while she waited well my sister enjoyed coming across the scene of my mother wedged into a tiny gap after hearing small pleading cries she was crying with laughter and took many photos before she helped to unstick her when your sinuses are super congested, push your tongue flat against the roof of your mouth and push the heel of your palm against your forehead right along your brow. If you hold it for like 30 seconds and then let go, you will feel your sinuses start to drain. Absolutely amazing. Wish I had known my entire life. I'm super congested right now and this works. Bless your soul I love you. Instructions unclear. Just licked them off. The next time you are alone on a long drive, scream as hard and loud as you can. I promise you will have a stupid grin on your face directly after. I do this almost every day on my drive home from work. Amazing de-stressor. While I agree, there's a bit of a risk to it. One time after a really stressful day I did this and I popped a bunch of capillaries in my face. No real damage but it left this weird network of black marks around my eyes for a few days. Looked like there was tiny bits of gravel under my skin or something. Huge fan of this. It's weird how driving on a highway surrounded by other vehicles is the only alone time most people get in the day. If you handled garlic and want to remove the smell from your hands don't use soap. Use salt. Or rub them on the inside of your stainless steel sink. Gone in like 3 seconds. Man. I'm such an idiot. I have a stainless steel sink and I bought one of those stainless steel soap bars. Done. Nap. The soap bar is like $2. And infinity easier to rub your hands with. Shaped like soap for a reason. And also more likely to not have crap in it from the meal you just cooked. So. Yep. Steel soap bars are cool. Everyone should have one. Add a couple of drops of light. Soy sauce to some vanilla ice cream. It makes the ice cream taste like caramel. Weird but true. Why wouldn't I just, you know, drizzle caramel onto my ice cream? Because then it tastes like soy sauce. Damn you. Transitive property. Balsamic vinegar drizzled over vanilla bean ice cream is amazing too. But it has to be the vanilla that actually has the black specks of vanilla bean in it. Gin beer. Take a cheap, light beer I use Coors Light. And put a shot of gin in it doesn't have to be great gin it tastes fantastic you actually want a relatively flavorless beer so it's like a more alcoholic gin and tonic everyone i've introduced this to became a believer this beer tastes like alcohol poisoning gin over ice equals breaks your brain whiskey over ice breaks your emotions vodka over ice equals breaks your stomach goddamn ice ruins everything smirnoff over ice equals bends your knee Captain Morgan Spice Rum and Arizona Green Tea. There's something magical about this combo that makes the alcohol taste disappear. So all you taste is a pleasant spice tea. One part rum, two parts tea. Add some ice, and enjoy. Great way to get way too drunk very quickly. Quite known drink in Poland. Mixing tea with rum. We call it Herbert Gorolska. The metric system. American engineer here. I have to use both. Kill me. 
freezing grapes it tastes amazing trust me. Also works great with cut up banana. Put them in wine and you don't water it down. Absolutely. I work at a winery and give that recommendation all the time. And then you have a little snack after you're done your wine. Eel sushi, anaji, every time I'm about to eat sushi somewhere, and I'm with someone who hasn't tried it, I suggest it and I get weird looks, but it's so ridiculously delicious. Ross knows that concept. A bidet. Disclaimer you will never feel fully clean after using any other toilet. I came here to say this, my wife bought me one right after I had a surgery, and it's a godsend, I have the looks bidet neo 120 from amazon best money we ever spent. Anytime you're angry, think instead about whether you're hurt or scared and focus on that. First, my therapist once explained in simple terms where all of those emotions come from. Sadness comes from losing something important to you. Fear comes from a threat, and anger comes from a perceived injustice. Once you understand that it becomes much easier to identify why you feel a certain way and what you can do to feel better. Salt on apples or sometimes other fruits. If you like that try tajin. It's a salt citrus and chili powder seasoning that really elevates the depth of flavor for fruit and many other things. I suggest pineapple, watermelon, and cantal up to start. But I put it on everything. Cucumber and jicama w tajin and lime juice is a Mexican classic. Prostate massage. Multiple, mind-blowing orgasms. When done right, that will leave you a sweaty drooling, incoherent mess. You really should stop making appointments with your doctor for weekly prostate examinations. They know this already in the UK. This tip is for redditors elsewhere. Instead of ketchup put salt and a little vinegar on your fries. The first one will taste weird. After the second one you will be hooked. Certain areas in the US, like a lot of coastal boardwalk spots, have vinegar out on tables. Shit is delicious I agree. Stay with me for this one. Coconut. Um. Nachos. It's so freaking good. But every time I tell someone about it, they look at me as though I just sneezed and a lobster mariachi band came out. I was concerned when you led with coconut tbh. Reddit has ruined all of us. Fries dipped in milkshake. Particularly vanilla or chocolate. No fruity stuff. Um. If by milkshake you mean Wendy's Frosty, then yes. Wet your pizza before throwing it in the microwave. The wife thought I was crazy for suggesting it until she tried it. I put a cup with water in it and with the pizza when I microwave it. In a depressed slump with low self esteem and no will to leave the house. Take a shower every day. No matter what. Just do it. You feel so much better. For so long I thought it was bullshit but it genuinely does make a difference after about a week of doing it. To add to that, I have trouble making myself take a shower, but I know that all I have to do is go into the bathroom and take off my clothes. After that I just take the shower whether I want to or not, just happens automatically. A pinch of salt in your coffee, it cuts the bitterness allowing you to use less sweet in it to drown out the bitter. As a former waitress, I tell you we just put a pot on to brew and then throw a big pinch of salt in the coffee, customers would rave about it. Happy customers leave bigger tips. Been an insider waitress secret for decades. Edit. Pinch not a punch. Re-edit. To those with questions. The pot would be sitting on the burner all night. Salt wakes up the pot and masks the bitterness of burnt coffee. Smoothing the flavor. I'd only do it if it was more than one stroke two way full and two near closing in order to justify making a new pot. 16 cups. If I recall correctly, it was about one stroke two TSP or thereabouts for a one stroke two pot. It was a long time ago. I was only 18 and only concerned about getting off work and meeting my boyfriend. I was a lousy waitress. Re-ray edit. People, this isn't a new thing. Google Good Eats for verification. He puts it in the grounds to combat stale water. We did it because the coffee had been sitting on a poorly calibrated electric burner for 6 plus hours. Before Lattes, Capuxino, and Cold Press there were only two options. Regular or decaffeinated? I was 22 before I had my first Americano. Perspective is more than your viewpoint. Snapchatters. Sticking your hand inside a sack of uncooked rice. Taking a walk in the night during a work school night. 
One time in school we had a day off during a Wednesday and me and some friends decided to have a few drinks as a result. The party died off around 2am and I went home. The weather was calm. No people. No cars. Just me and the street lights. I remember just walking in the middle of the road on my way home. Which felt so surreal and forbidden in itself. It was really beautiful in a way. I stopped up several times on my way home and just admired the silence and the illuminated, serb, urban jungle. Unless you work nights. Most of us generally don't get the chance to do this too often. If you don't live in one of those countries neighborhoods where a stroll during the night is unwise. Then seriously consider going for a leisurely stroll a night where the weather is calm. It's honestly quite magical. Every time I go to Chipotle, I get the cup filled most of the way with root beer, and then top it off with lemonade. It sounds really weird, but if you try it once, you'll never go back. It doesn't work that well at other places though. There's something about a Chipotle burrito and root beer lemonade. Wrapping the hotel remote in the little plastic bag that you find in the ice bin. I once roomed up with one of my larger, shower of us friends at a hotel in Vegas. First thing he did was scratch his notes. I mean, he really got in there, then picked up the remote and turned on the TV with the same hand. First thing I do in a hotel is grab the remote and jam it deep up my butthole. It feels awful, but what can you do? Cheese with strawberry jam. Peanuts in a coke are my sworn by road trip fuel. Really not much difference between eating them separately but it's nice to be able to do it with one hand on the wheel still and it's just a little more fun. I showed this to a friend and he didn't believe me when I insisted everyone did it in my hometown. He called it redneck boba. Orange marmalade with sausages. Particularly on a sausage sandwich. The marmalade's sweetness complements the sausage. While the bitter peel cuts through the fat. Jam jelly won't work. Has to be proper marmalade. With peel. Take 4 chunky Kit Kat smelt them together and pretend you are a gnome. Or have stolen a giant's Kit Kat. Nestle chocolate powder in Cool Whip. Poor man's chocolate mousse. Dr. Pepper and red wine. Take the sip of water before you put the pill in your mouth. The pill will then float in the water in your mouth and not touch the sides or back of your mouth. It feels like all you're swallowing is water, and it makes it much easier to swallow pills especially big ones. Keep a pair of brand new socks to wear the day after having a really bad day. Drinking some pickle brine before bed after a night of drinking does wonders to reduce or eliminate a hangover. My family has always eaten our oatmeal as follows. Cook real oatmeal, not the quick oats. On the stove as directed, you want the oats to be nice and fluffy but not too sticky. Add in butter and sugar to taste. Mix until the sugar dissolves. This leaves the oatmeal a little runny. Then make some medium brown toasted in the toaster and add a thin layer of butter. Real is amazing but country crock works too. Once it's melted tear it into bite sized pieces and mix into the oatmeal. It creates an oatmeal bread pudding type thing that I absolutely love. It's even better with a cinnamon roll flavored oatmeal. This works with cream of wheat as well. Eating peanuts with the shell still on. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.